16-year-old Aaron White is one of the top archers in the country. She practices six days a week. And I love how it's like when I'm on the line with myself, it's kind of like me time and it's a time to like shut everything off. Like if I'm stressed out about school or like work or like family things, I can just come out here and shoot and it's kind of like my stress reliever. Erin started shooting eight years ago after she discovered something at home. I found my grandmother's bow in our house one day and so I asked my parents like what it was like what is this thing. That was very funny actually because I said what is this stick because it was the old you know long bow style or it's just a wooden stick. And my sister and I really liked it and so we started taking lessons at Next Step Archery. Erin's love for the sport would quickly grow. She's awesome. I mean, her work ethic is amazing. Lisa is not only mom, she's also a trained and certified archery coach. Remember, lead with the bow arm. My mom is my coach, and um, even though that can be a little like difficult to navigate sometimes, it's really fun. Um, I know she's always there for me. She's like the most supportive person in my life, and so I'm really happy that I have her as my coach and as well as my mom. Good call. <laughs> Together, the two use fun and focus to stay on target. And when the bullseye started adding up, Aaron's wins did too. These were all from 4-H nationals in 2018. I started going to state tournaments with 4-H and then I started going to state tournaments with like all the archers in the state. And then I just kept going up and up and up and then now I'm doing national tournaments and world competitions. Last year, Erin hit the mark when she took first place at the U.S. National Field Archery Tournament. With the win, she landed a spot on the U.S. Recurve Junior National Team. I was really excited and then I realized that I'm going to a world competition, so I was like, now I need to step it up again. <laughs> like, she competed in Cortina, Italy against the best in the world and ended up taking eighth. Well, that was awesome. I actually got teared up. I'm getting teared up just thinking about it. It means a lot. I really, um, I'm really like honored to represent the USA. And when I was in Italy, it was kind of crazy to think about like, wow, like me, like just a girl from Monroe is like representing like the United States. And so it was really cool. Her goals now include competing in college, then the Olympics. That's my like my dream goal. That's like the end goal for me. In Mount Lake Terrace with photographer Tate Miller, I'm Chris Egan, King 5 Sports.